one part at a time. Now let's go back here to the 5y and multiply it. 4 times 5 is 20. Now this one doesn't have an x, but we, I want you to go ahead and keep your variables in alphabetical order. So let's go ahead and bring the x squared that was in the front, still comes over here. Then we have our y times y, y times y is y squared. And there you go for that part. Okay, now when your parents think of Algebra 1, this is one of the, one of the two things that they think about. The other, the other two main, the, the second or the first of the main things that they think about we'll do next week, and that is when we start factoring. But for today, let's talk about uh, just using the distributive property when we have polynomials. So uh, we distribute the f each term of the first polynomial to each term of the second polynomial. So what that means is we take our 3x and we multiply it by the first x, by the first term. 3x times x is 3x squared. Then we take it and multiply it by the next term. So 3x times 5 is 15x. Then we're going to uh, take the next term of the first polynomial and multiply it by each term of the second. So negative 1 is our next. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Negative 1 times 5 is negative 5. Now at this point, if we have like terms, we need to combine them. So let's combine... like terms, and here the x squared in a like term, but they're the x's are, the, the single x's. So we have 15x and negative x. So the answer here is going to be, there's only one 3x squared, the x squared needs to go first. Then 15x and negative 1x, 15 and negative 1 is positive 14, so it's going to be plus 14x, and then our minus 5 here at the end, and boom, there we are done. Now, as I said, next week when we do factoring, we're going to be doing this the opposite way. So we'll start with this trinomial here, 3x squared minus 14x minus 5. Remember, this is a trinomial because there's three terms. And this is going to factor into two binomials like this up here. And these are called binomials because there's two terms in each of those. And it's, just, it's multiplying when you're going this way, or simplifying. It's factoring when you're going the other way. But again, we'll talk about that next week. So I do have two more problems that I want to talk about. So I'm going to flip this sheet over. The first problem is going to be, or example four, is going to be x plus 5 times 2x plus 3. Okay, so let's pause this, and if you go ahead and work this out. Okay, welcome back. So now let's actually work it out. So x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 3 is plus 3x. 5 times 2x is plus 10x. And 5 times 3 is plus 15. Combine our like terms there in the center. We get 2x squared plus 13x plus 15. And we are done. Okay, so let's do one more example. Call this example 5. This one's going to be a little bit more extensive. The last two problems on the homework are like this one. We're going to have x squared plus 3x plus 4 times 3x squared minus x plus 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and pause this and do it just real quickly. Remember, you're taking each term of the first and distributing it to each term of the second. Okay, pause it, and we'll be right back. Okay, let's see how you did. So x squared times 3x squared is 3x to the fourth. x squared times minus x, remember that is understood to be 1, so we end up with minus x cubed, then x squared times 2 is plus 2x, 
Then let's distribute the next, which is the 3x. 3x times 3x squared is plus 9x squared. 3x times negative 1 is minus 3. No, this is 3x cubed. Sorry about that. There, I'm trying to rush for some reason. So 3x times 3x squared is 3x cubed. Don't forget the 1 is there. You do have to add it. 3x times negative x is negative x squared. And then 3x times 2 is plus 6x. And then for our last one, let's use green, I guess, for that one. We're going to distribute the 4. 4 times 3x squared is plus 12x squared. Oops, there we go. Let me make all that fit. There we go. 4 times negative x is minus 4x. And then 4 times the 2 is plus 8. Now let's combine all of our like terms. We only have 1x to the 4th, so 3x to the 4th. We have a minus 3x cubed and a plus 9x cubed. Negative 1 plus 9 is 8, so it's going to be plus 8x cubed. Pay close attention to your signs. Next we have a plus, this should be an x squared here. There we go, because the x squared times, there we go. Now I fixed it. Y'all probably saw that when I made the mistake. So we have 2x squared minus 3x squared plus 12. If we add all that up, we get 11, so that's plus 11x squared. Then we have a 6x minus 4x, which is plus 2x. And then we have a lonely little plus 8 over there all by itself. And there you go. Please let me know.